let's say you have like 10 parties to go to because we all know this time of the year is the busiest time of the year. And for some reason, you don't want to wear the same hairstyle in one day or you're scared that you might see somebody from the other party from before this one. Girl, I got you covered. I'm bringing to you today 10 super easy updos for short hair that are elegant, pretty, they're very romantic, they're glam, but the best part is they're easy. And did I say easy? Yeah, because yeah. they're easy. <laughs> So obviously I don't have natural curly hair. So what I did was I used my half inch Conair curling iron, wrapped my hair around in the same direction, going away from my face, let go, cooled it off, and then ran my fingers through my hair to give it more volume and texture for the curls. Curls before girls, you know, before you go see your girls at the party. I don't know. <laughs> So the first hairstyle is going to be an updo with a double hairband. And this one is really great. This is by the brand Scoonsy. You can find them any drugstore, Target, Ulta, I believe, Amazon. I will have a link down below. And it's great because it's double already for you. It has a little part right here. You can always just use two separate hairbands, but this one is inexpensive and it works really great. So I added some texture spray to my hair just to give it a little bit of texture and hold before I do anything to it. And I'm just placing all of my hair going towards the back. So next what you wanna do is just put the hairband on your head. I'm gonna bring it on my neck first and then I'm just gonna bring the headband up. Make sure I don't rip my earrings out. I've been way too many times. So then I'm gonna spread this out, the second part. And I'm gonna start taking these hairs like, towards the front. And this is why I like having curls for my short hair because it's super easy to work with after you have a curl that you can create different like updos and it doesn't look messy, it doesn't look crazy, it looks really, really pretty and elegant. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna grab a section right here, kind of like in half updo, and I'm gonna just take them in like a little knot like this, twist it around, take little bobby pins and just secure it. You wanna just take one or two. So next, we're gonna actually incorporate the spin pins. If you watch my latest video, you would see I'm using these spin pins, but I used the long ones and I found the mini ones. They're super easy to work with and they're very handy and they last all day long. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this bottom section into three sections. So what are you gonna do first is start with the middle section. I'm gonna pick up the section towards the top and kinda of do like a little twist. Take a little screw pin and just screw it in. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. And now we're gonna continue doing these sections right here. So doing the same thing, kind of following the way you curled your hair. I'm just gonna pick it up towards the top and that's it, screw it in. And make sure you screw it in with the section that's on the top that we did first. And there you have it for the first double headband updo. Like I said, it's super pretty, it's very easy. And the curls, they kind of do the job for you for these updos, especially if you have short hair, because it kind of helps you disguise the little messiness here and there. If you have some hair falling out, it looks very pretty, romantic, and glam. And this takes probably not even five minutes to do if you already have curly hair. It is super easy, and the overall result is gorgeous. Second hairstyle is gonna be a double braided updo, and this one's inspired by the beautiful girl, Lucy Hale. I love her, she's so beautiful, and she's an amazing actress in Pretty Little Liars. Anybody watch that out there? I don't. I know you don't. <laughs> All right, so to begin this braid, we're starting on the section that has most of the hair. So we're grabbing a section right here in the front, and we're gonna divide it into three equal sections to begin our French braid. And I actually love braiding my hair when it has a little bit of a wave to it, just because I think it looks very pretty and very textured and very romantic. I don't know, it's one of my faves. All right, so French braid is you're taking sections over the middle, add the hair. If you guys wanna see a one-on-one -on -one video, I actually did one not that long ago. I have it linked up above. So I'm just following my hairline and I'm gonna bring it kind of towards the back at an angle. So it's gonna be kind of like a crown. You guys know I love those. <laughs> I'm not gonna grab any more hair right here at the bottom because we're gonna leave this and we're gonna pin it up to make a really pretty updo. So I'm gonna grab one more section of hair from the top for the braid just to finish it off. All right, so now we have the first one. Let's go off and do the second one exactly the same way. Next part, let's put this hairstyle together. All right, so basically what I did, I just crisscrossed the little ponytails in the back, could screw them in together using my little screw pins, and then I have these little sections left down here. Same thing as the first hairstyle. I'm gonna take these little sections of hair 
We're gonna twist them. We're gonna bring them towards the braid, use a screw pin and just screw it in. So now that your hair is screwed in place, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna pull apart the braid just to give it more texture and volume and overall a better look. And here is the double French braided updo. It's super easy, it's super fast as well if you know how to braid. And like I said, these are so gorgeous. You can make them messy, you can make them a little bit more polished. And there you have it, a very pretty updo. Third hairstyle is going to be basically a very low updo with the pompadour. I'm actually gonna incorporate the pompadour comb that I used in my previous video. And instead of the pompadour being on top right here, we're gonna have it down below. It's gonna be very, very pretty. And you do wanna have curly hair for this. It looks prettier in my opinion. So I'm gonna start at the very top of my crown with a very slight off-centered part going towards my left side. So we're gonna take this hair on the crown, bring it towards the back, and just pin it away just so we don't touch that with bobby pins on each side. So next we're gonna grab our pompadour, and this is, we're gonna start creating this little updo right here. And I'm using the Conair pompadour comb. You can get this anywhere, like I said, with any other hairstyle. Take your pompadour and make sure this little section right here, this comb, is gonna be going towards your scalp, so the pompadour actual poof is gonna be towards like the opposite side. So I'm gonna place it right below, or right underneath the bobby pins that we just pinned. So next what we're gonna do to create this updo is take these hairs right here and we're gonna wrap it over the top of this pompadour comb and just bobby pin it around to make sure it's nicely secure and covering and it will create that beautiful updo or that low updo that has a nice bump. So now we're gonna move on to the sides right here, to the sections. Just take little sections, twist them just a little bit because they're already curled and just bring it on top and just pin it away. So I'm gonna quickly accessorize this hairstyle with these really pretty, they're kind of like vines. This is what they are, you can find them on Amazon. Super inexpensive and they're very, very pretty. You're very pretty. Oh, thanks, bud. Okay. I'm gonna add a couple more. And there you have it once it's glammed up. Obviously it's optional, I'm just giving you guys some ideas if you wanna do something a little bit special with your hair. Hairstyle number four is going to be very similar to hairstyle number three, but it's gonna be slightly different without the pompadour comb. And it's gonna have a three strand braid on each side without adding any hair. So we're gonna start with three strand braid on each side of my head. And I'm grabbing a nice section of hair that I can actually braid. Since I have layers, I have to grab some hair underneath. So I just do like a regular braid. You can do either over or under, it doesn't matter. And I'm not doing it tight whatsoever. All right, so before I'm gonna tie it off, I'm just gonna pull apart the braid. So once both braids are done, I'm gonna add a section, or not add, I'm gonna grab a section of hair right below it and a section on the other side. And we're actually gonna connect those in the middle to create a tiny little ponytail. You're gonna start taking the hairs from underneath the back and you're gonna inner loop them around the ponytail that we just did. Take your bobby pins and secure it. All right, so let's start first with the braids now that we've finished the back portion and kind of place it on top of the ponytails going towards the back and pin it away the exact same way as the hair in the back. And there you have it for hairstyle number four. It's very textured, very fun, but most important, it's very beautiful and very easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and by the way, since you guys always ask what I'm wearing either on myself, my clothing, or on my face, I always try to link it in the description box below. It's either the same product or something very similar. And moving on to hairstyle number five, this one's gonna be a little bit more edgy, slightly more different, but it's definitely a lot of fun and it's obviously, again, very simple. Okay, so we're beginning on the very top of my head. We're grabbing a section of hair, kind of like we're doing a pompadour. Take a clear elastic, you can tie it off once, and then the second time before you tie it all the way, you're gonna leave it like this. So it's kind of like a little loop you create. We're actually gonna hide this clear elastic with the hair that's left. So just gonna wrap it around the clear elastic, mini bobby pin, and just pin it down to your head. All right, so now I'm gonna create a sections right behind it. So the trick is you wanna keep the sections as close as possible to each other so you don't have crazy big gaps. So I'm just gonna continue doing this until I have no more hair left to add. So I just created a total of six equal sections and I try to focus them all on the same line so it's not like going crazy zigzaggy, it's looking like a full hawk. And this lower hair is right here. It's perfect, leave them down for now because we're gonna kind of put them up, 
pin them up it's gonna be a very pretty transition going from this crazy hairstyle to the bottom now I'm gonna start putting all the sections together and what you want to do is you want to start connecting the back section to the front section and basically going all the way down the back to the front back to the front back to the front you basically want to pick up the sections towards the top so once you're done pinning this top sections you can go back up to the bottom and you're going to pin the sections away divide them into two basically just comb them up towards the actual updo and just pin up right up into the last elastic so you see these hairs right here that we just pinned up we're going to pick them up towards the top and just pin them on the sides the last touches these are optional but i like to do it just to add a little bit extra punch even though you don't need it for this hairstyle i want it so I found these cute little pins from Target. This is the La Tada brand. I believe that's how you say it. So you see I already did it on one side. So I'm just gonna grab some hair and just take the bobby pin and just pin it down. So it kind of gives, I don't know, a little bit extra sparkle to the top of your head. It's cute. Kind of looks like two little eyes. Why not? It already looks like a caterpillar on your head. Make it even more realistic, right? Caterpillar? Yeah. <laughs> right there. And there you have it for my crazy holiday updo. I love this one. If you definitely want to stand out, you will. I promise you that. I kind of want to do this for my mom. <laughs> she would totally rock this look, even though I can hear her now. No. Too much, no. too much, Milana, too much. She always says that, too much in her accent. I love it. My mom is amazing, you guys. Too much. Hairstyle number six is going to be a double French twist with curls going kind of towards the front. It's be kind of like a waterfall in the front. It's very pretty. Part your hair first, kind of like in a deeper part. And then I'm gonna grab a section of hair going towards the back, like around the crown. So I'm just gonna take this hair and just pin it away for now. So the rest of the hair, you're gonna split it into two equal sections. So I start like right above the ears bring it towards the back and meet them in the middle. We're gonna start working on the bottom section first. So this right here, I'm just gonna pin it back. Take your hair behind your ears that you're gonna use in this bottom section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tease my hair just a little bit to give it more volume. So that way I can actually make a twist over it. Since my hair is a little bit shorter, it's gonna give it that volume for the French twist. So then I'm bringing my hair over to the right side and I'm actually gonna bobby pin it going from the bottom towards the top of the section where it ends. So I'm grabbing all of the hair. We're gonna start twisting it into a French twist. So this top section, I'm actually doing the opposite side. So instead of the left side, we're gonna do it on the right side. So I'm just gonna take it into sections and I'm gonna curl it. But I'm just taking the hair and just wrapping it around. And I'm also taking smaller sections when I curl it. And here is my version of the edgy double French twist. I love this one. It's so pretty, very contemporary, but very classic at the same time. I think my mom would approve. <laughs> yes, mom, give it a thumbs up. Hairstyle number seven is going to be my topsy tail updo. First, you wanna start off with a little pompadour in the front. Next, grab a section, grab a clear elastic and tie it off into a ponytail. Then you wanna do is split it in half and then bring the ponytail right through the top and through, just like that, creating a topsy tail. Grab a second section, and we are going to include that first ponytail. Split it in half, and pull it through. Just keep doing that until you have no more hair left. And the smaller sections you grab, and the closer they are to each other, I think it looks prettier. So now I'm gonna go back up, and I'm gonna actually start pulling the actual topsy tail part. So this right here, that creates a topsy tail. I'm gonna start pulling it apart just a little bit, like section by section just to create a little bit more texture and dimension. I'm actually gonna take the bobby pins out from the pompadour and it's gonna stay put because the hair is actually tied back in the topsy tail. Once you've got the desired tripe and size of your topsy tail updo, you can go back to the very small little section here that's on the very bottom, loop it one more time and then secure it with a mini bobby pin into the last elastic. And there you have it for hairstyle number seven. Very simple, fast, easy, and most of all, it's very beautiful. Hairstyle number eight, Andre calls it the crazy pinup look. All right, so you wanna have bobby pins and you wanna have your hair going towards the back. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take these sides right here, going towards the bottom, and we're gonna pin them a little bit going towards the middle, so it's kind of pinned back. And I'm making sure the hair on the top, this section kind of like the hair that's gonna be on the top, it's not pinned down, just the side parts. So let me quickly show you what it creates on the side. All right, so take your curling iron again because you wanna create those defined curls again on the top. 
So now that we have a lot of curls, I'm gonna start from the back and we're gonna start pinning them away. But a lot of them are just gonna be loose. This is the look of it. It's very simple, it's very pretty, and it's, I think, very romantic. So there you have it. All you have to do is just play around the hair, make sure you have these longer pieces just like flowing down and it kind of creates like this very interesting, sort of like this long textured ponytail in the back. It's very, very pretty. So here's style number nine. We're gonna start off with making a pompadour right in the front and I will be using my assistants today, my pompadour comb. I love this thing, it's so awesome. So we're just gonna grab a nice section in the front, just tease it a little bit. Take your pompadour comb and place it right behind it. Then take the hair, kind of spread it out a little bit and then we're gonna bring it towards the back. And then just take your bobby pins and then just secure the hair. Once you have the pompadour, we're gonna create four ponytails going towards the back that meet in the middle. All right, so what you do is the way your, your curls are going, you're gonna curl it once with your finger just like that and bring it to the opposite side. Take your bobby pin and just bobby pin it upwards or towards the ponytail. Take that leftward ponytail and bring it underneath the second one under the elastic and just pin it up with the bobby pin going up. And do exactly the same thing with the second, third, and fourth ponytail. So now that you've created this somewhat looking roll, you're gonna go back in and kind of loosen all the rolls to make them a little bit more messier and edgier. So you can leave it like this, or you can bejewel it like I want to. I'm gonna add these two in, they're kind of like these leaves with pearls on them. I showed them to you guys already in one hairstyle. I, I will link them for you down below. They're very pretty, very inexpensive. What I'm gonna do is just add one on each side of the knots or the roll. And there you have it for hairstyle number nine. I love that the actual bejewels kind of hug the roll. It just makes it look very pretty. What do you guys think of this one? And last but not least, this is probably the simplest one because <laughs> there's like one or two steps. It's super easy, but it's really pretty. So you will need one of these little things. I call them the grandma pins. <laughs> and they just have a lot of prongs and they're bejeweled or you can get like a simple one. You can find these anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, Target, any drugstore, just look online. These are really, really great. So I'm making a slight right part, kind of like a deeper part. And then just grab literally all of your hair. We're gonna twist the hair up and not do anything except for just twisting it up for now. Take your little pin, and this is all you need, and tuck it into the side where you twisted it. And there we go. It's a little bit elegant, but a little bit edgy as well. And you can do this literally in like 30 seconds. It's that easy. I love it. It's probably one of my favorites. And there we have it, my 10 super easy, elegant updos for short hair that are just perfect for this holiday season. Weddings, proms, homecoming dance parties, any occasion, they're beautiful. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and if you found one of your favorite hairstyles. Comment down below. You guys, I love your comments, they make my day. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.